the final math problems we're going to do in this chapter have to do with transformers. A step-up transformer has a primary coil with 250 turns. Remember that number of turns is in, and we're talking about primary coil. 250 in a secondary coil with 3,500 turns. The primary coil has a voltage of 90. What is the voltage in the secondary circuit? We also know that the current in the secondary coil is 2 amps, and we're asked for the current in the primary coil. You guys are given a complicated looking equation. NP over NS equals VP over VS equals IS over IP. We wouldn't use all three parts of this equation at once. We would just use two parts at a time. So in the first question, we're asking, we're asked about voltage. So I will just use the first parts, this part and this part. And I'll ignore the stuff about current for a little bit. If we look at just what we need, we can cross multiply. And then we can solve for the secondary voltage. Please remember that you can always plug in your numbers first and then solve for it. But I find that the math in this is very simple. But sometimes all the different variables get people very confused and it messes them up to do the algebra. So do whichever way is easier and makes more sense to you. So we can find our secondary voltage by doing 3500 times 90 volts divided by 250. And then there's the question about significant figures. These are counting numbers. They are number of turns. They're infinitely significant. So the only number we're looking at is this primary voltage. It has three significant figures and the only units are volts. So we get 1260 volts. Which makes sense since we said that it was a step up transformer. The voltage should step up. Let's look at calculating how much current. Now we're solving for IP so we can cross multiply. We just ignore the voltage. We could use the voltage since we have it now but I always suggest you use numbers I gave you if at all possible. NP, IP, NS, IS. And to solve for our primary current, NS times IS divided by NP. thirty five hundred turns times two amps divided by two hundred fifty turns you get that the current in the primary circuit is twenty eight amps again none of the actual math in this is hard the hardest part is manipulating the equation Practice the ones below and please let me know if you need any help.